The Great War started many years ago. Nobody seems to remember what caused it. Nobody seems to care anymore. Every day might be your last. A daily horror. A never-ending madness that surrounds you from all sides. All that matters now is to live as long as you can. And don't get yourself killed. First priority is simple. Kill as many enemies as you can. What the hell? Not just typhoid you got here then. Surrender or die. <laughs> what are they? Indestructible? <laughs> have a piece of this. <laughs> I have to get out of here. There's something terrible going on. Germans must have some sort of disease. Or something even worse. Why don't you just put a bullet in the back of my head? <laughs> we have a better use for you. You will wish you were until life and Zimmerman gets to work on your pitiful body. And with that amazing beatdown, welcome to stage two of Necrovision. Nice place, but I wouldn't want to stick around for Christmas. Need to find a back door. So let's uh, let's proceed through the fortress. Uh, I am Niggeroth here to help everyone figure out how the Great War started, because apparently people that were a part of it had no idea. Well, it was the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. That's it. It's not that hard to figure out. But we do need to get through this fortress, and for some reason there was a alarm. So let's go figure out what that alarm was for. Here we uh, here we picked up a Luger. Will allow us to dual wield pistols, but we're going to not worry about that since it does lower accuracy. Instead, we're going to be working with Help. the shovel. Shovel we got out of the first challenge room, which uh, you should be seeing in another video posted shortly. Hey, help! But what's this? Oh, thank God! No, I mustn't say his name here. I don't deserve to. But please, please don't punish me for it. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe now, friend. Listen, how long have you been here? Not that long. A few days ago, we were on a reconnaissance mission ahead of the assault when they caught us, tortured us. It was Mark who cracked first, told them our plans for the assault, and so they set a trap, a gas attack that killed all our troops. I heard them laughing and bragging about it today, the cowardly bastards. Is it true? Did all our boys die? It's true. But listen, what the hell's happening here? It's a living nightmare. At first we thought we were in luck. Because they kept us alive, you see. We knew the assault was coming and hoped our boys would get through to free us. But then they started the torture. Said it was just a foretaste. We held out, though. And then they put that creature in here. It ripped through my leg. I saw it tear off Mark's arm. Bite into his neck. Uh, but they wouldn't let it kill us. They wanted to use us in some other way. We'd have been better off dead. You mean that thing I just saw smashing them to pieces? No, no, no. This was something different altogether. It was... It was part human and... Part. I just don't know. It had a lot of barbed wire wrapped around its body, and it was sucking on our blood. You never seen anything like it. I've been saying that all day. Listen, I don't know what's going on, but I've saw the rest of the Germans head off into the fortress and barricade themselves inside. The monster seems to have disappeared too. 
for a while at least. So the square's empty, apart from my three friends chained to the pillars out there, waiting to change. To change? Into what? Is it too late to help them? They're in the same hopeless state that I'm in. There just wasn't a spare pillar for me. But we deserve to die. We betrayed our men. Look, I don't give a damn about myself, but maybe you can use this chaos to get yourself out of here. Maybe see off a few jerrys for me while you're at it. Count on it. Please, before you go, I need a favour. Yeah? Give me your gun. They're not gonna take me alive. Take it. So now we figure out what happened in the prologue and why we got completely ass raped by uh, the German forces. It's because of this poor schmuck and his little platoon. But that's okay. He's uh, he's going to a better place. That's it. This isn't about staying alive anymore. I don't know who or what I'm fighting, but if I'm meant to die, I'm taking as many of those bastards down to hell as I can. Yes! Yes! Whatever you are, either show yourself or shut up. Uh, that's not good. We're still hearing voices, but uh, first we're going to come up here and get this secret. It's just a small ammo cache and a med kit we don't really need right now. But it's actually kind of uh, shitty. He actually took that Luger we just picked up, so we're actually back down to just our default pistol and uh, shovel. Or no, he... He didn't take the Luger, he just took a mysterious gun. Pretty sure he took the Luger, but here we are with uh, secret number two already. Just a little uh, basement area down here. This sweet ass poster. Not really sure if the monkey is supposed to represent America or... It's kind of hard to read, I couldn't see the word on the monkey's bab. Whoa! Fireplace. Finally, get down to the actual secret itself. I'll take that. Nice little gas lamp. Over here, we got uh, another vampire artifact. We're actually collecting quite a few of those. Up to Fury level 4. It's pretty good. Getting an extra ammo cache and another uh, Luger in case we want to dual wield them. Which we won't. They uh, You actually lose quite a bit of accuracy when you're dual wielding any weapon. And uh, this game really wants you to focus on melee, so we're going to try to stick with a pistol in melee. There's a lot of dead Germans around here though, it's kind of weird. Damn. Please, kill me! Sweet Jesus, not again. What are they for God's sake? Well, this is new and... Oh, ready for your turn now, huh? Yeah, this is new. This is actually kind of a mid-boss, if you will. Mostly because we have very shit weapons. Yes! Yes! Normally, uh, you're going to have uh, much better weapons to deal with these specters. But as of right now, all we got is a, a pistol and some melee weapons. Not the best combination, especially when... We're also being accosted on the ground by pretty much never-ending spawn of zombies. But I'm doing my best here, trying to not get overwhelmed by the zombies that he's resurrecting. And also trying to deal with this, uh, this rather cumbersome specter. But it does allow me to show off a few more combo moves, especially with the bayonet we uh, picked up recently. Such as uh, Farmer's Revenge, which is a combination of uh, Pistol Smack and uh, hit with the bayonet. And Triple Smasher, which is this uh, straight three hit combo with the bayonet, or with the pistol. But yeah, this is mostly just plunking away the best I can. It only struck me later that uh, I probably could have dual wielded pistols here to make it go a little bit faster, but. It honestly wouldn't have gone a lot faster. Mo 
most people actually uh, run to a bit of difficulty here just because you kind of expect to be given more ammo and more weapons to fight this thing, but that's not really the case. You're just meant to shoot at it with your, uh, with your worst weapon. But uh, you actually don't have to kill it all the way, you just have to take it down to about quarter health, and then it runs away. Which I think we're, uh, we're almost to. Also, it's really hard to dodge these fireballs that he's throwing. It's not, uh, they don't exactly home, but they do seem to have an AoE splash after they hit. My He's gone. Never tired. But yeah, he'll be back. Yeah, thankfully he's finally dead now. Everything should be uh, clear sailing. Let's clear a few more of these zombies. Try to go ahead and take out this one lone German soldier over here. Not sure what he was doing during all of that, but uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of wondering where the rest of the German soldiers are. I need to find some explosives to blast my way through. Back so soon? Would you care to dance? No? Yes? I guess not. Yeah, I'm not actually Artillery. sure where that tete a tete was. So they want to hide the truth under the rubble. I guess that's my cue to run. But yeah, well not only do we have a, a time limit to deal with, because we're apparently going to be bombarded with artillery, but we also have this rather large troll to deal with as well. Thankfully, he's made very short work.